so I'm back for uh, all you that didn't know what to read without my without my reviews got another one for you so I am now officially retired I'm now uh, had my change of command I am uh, living on a farm in Mexico and uh, and life is good see my hair's a little bit longer and my smile's a little bit bigger so I've also had a chance to uh, to crack open some books and uh, do some good reading this one, String Baggers, uh, thank you to the Naval Institute for sending it to me. It's actually a book that uh, not only I've read, but uh, I had a chance to read it to my kids, and uh, my boys actually don't want me to give this away because <laughs> they like it so much. So it's a, uh, it's a great book. When I first got it from the Naval Institute, I thought, oh, wow, it's a book about World War I. Looks like World War I biplanes. Good World War I story. Well. No, it's not World War One. It's World War Two story. It's World War Two story using, at the time, antique, old, antique World War Two biplanes. So at the uh, at the time, uh, Britain was getting just pummeled by uh, by Germany. Had some of these old World War One biplanes left over. They had some folks that knew how to fly, and they said, well. These aren't going to be the best, but it's all we got. And uh, you string baggers are going to fly these suckers and do the best you can for uh, for uh, um, for Britain. And that's what they did. And the uh, the stories there's a number of stories. Uh, it's historical fiction, and it goes into um, the story of a I think there's a handful of string bag squadrons. Uh, the story of one squadron and uh, three pilots. And their um, their story throughout throughout the war uh, talks about uh, the role that the string bags played in pursuit of the Bismarck and the sinking of the Bismarck, the famous uh, German German battleship. Uh, it also talks about the uh, the role that the uh, string bags played uh, during Otto's Channel Dash, and if you don't know that story. Uh, basically, uh, Germany had some of their uh, uh, big uh, battleships and uh, cruisers off in Paris, or in, uh, in, in France, uh, in, a, in a French port, and he wanted them back, and there are two options. You either dash through the channel, like, well, that's not, that's not great, great, uh, great idea when, uh, when Germany controlled much of, that, much of that water, either do a channel dash or go up north all the way around the British island island and uh and come back in well hitler said hitler was tired of tired of seeing those uh battleships in uh in france so he wanted him back in germany so he said okay we're doing the channel dash unfortunately for germany uh unfortunately for brit british uh for the british uh the channel dash was successful i don't think they lost one ship but uh, the string bag certainly did play a role in uh in making that a little bit harder than they needed to so a comic book. I don't really, I don't really read comic books very much. But I tell you what, it's, uh, it's, it's been surprisingly good. And as a historical fiction comic book, I feel like it engages a different part of my brain, and it engages a different part of my, of my interest, and it allows me to, to, to put myself in the place of the uh, protagonist and, uh, and the main character. And, and really think, you know, how would I respond if I was that Lieutenant J.G. pilot flying a string bag, flying an old World War I airplane against some of the finest machinery that the Germans had to offer um, and just giving it my all, protected by nothing but cloth and some, uh, well, it's probably wooden, wooden frame. And I tell you what, uh, it's a... <laughs> Certainly, putting yourself in that uh, position makes you makes you take a breath and uh, and really appreciate what those what those men did. So, uh, great book. I've already given this book away, but I do have plenty more books. If you're interested in uh, in my books, uh, please uh, sign up below. I've got a newsletter where I send out uh, where I give out free books uh, once a month. And uh, if you'd like like one of my books, I'm certainly love to love to give it to you. So sign up below, and uh, also let me know. What are you reading? All right, thanks.